Hey, HF. My name is Jace Bell. We have a lot to get to on today's Amped Up show, so without further ado, let's roll this intro. Just another manic Thursday. Thursday. So if you had a billion dollars right now, what is the first thing you would buy? Uh, property. Invest. A car for my mom. I would buy a, a Lambo. Uh, some, I would buy a house for my mom, you know. A new violin. If you had a billion dollars right now, what is the first thing you would buy? Um, I'd buy a new house for me and my mom. A billion dollars? I don't know. Decent shoes? Probably homes for my whole family. So if you had a billion dollars right now, what is the first thing you would buy? The school so I could shut it down. <laughs> uh, I'll buy a couple cars, a couple houses, a house in like all 40 states. Yeah. All 40 states. All right. Here's a quick look at what's happening at HF. Sign up for Key Club's April 2019th event in Evening Together. Sign-ups are in Ms. Kluth's room, E2. Student government will extend the election packet's due date until this Friday. Pick up packets in North 300. Senior t-shirt orders will be on Monday, April 15th until Friday, May 3rd on the campus store. Shirts are $10. Are you intending to major or minor in history in college? Pick up an application from Mr. Coach's room in 313 North for a chance to win a $1,000 scholarship. The Edit Showcase will take place on Wednesday, April 24th at 6 p.m. in E1. This is a free event. Magazines will be available for purchase for $5. Summer school registration for driver's ed will be Tuesday, April 16th at 3.30 in the North Building Cafeteria. We are looking for unified partners for the 2019-2020 school year. If you are interested in being a part of a program that promotes acceptance and respect through sport, please come to our meeting Wednesday, May 15th in room 230 North. Now, on to some sports. All students are welcome for open gym for basketball in the field house. Please refer to the specific dates and times located on the bulletin boards in the field house and throughout campus. Viking dance team tryouts are April 16th through the 18th from 3.30 to 6 p.m. in the dance studio. And cheerleader tryouts for next year's squads will be on the 22nd through the 25th. Congratulations to the boys tennis team for winning all three matches in the Lincoln Way Central Quad over the weekend. They turned around and won a close match from Lincoln Way West on Tuesday. The team was led by senior Zolan Pear and junior Caden Paris, who won a come from behind victory at third doubles by a score of 6-7, 6-1, and 6-4. Also winning were seniors Perry Hogue at first singles, senior Henry Theros and junior Brian Henry at first doubles, and senior Ben Ng at ju and junior Noah Roberts at second doubles. The team competes again today at Bradley Bourbonnet. The volleyball team lost in three sets to Oak Forest High School. It all looked good for the Vikings in game one as they beat the Bengals 25 to 23 behind some key kills from Avery Cole Danner. And despite the nice set play from sophomore Chen Akpupara, the Bengals came back to, the, to win the next two, taking the Viking record to five to nine on the season. The JV team beat Oak Forest with the help of 17 aces from the team. The girls' water polo team lost to St. Charles North 5-1 last night. Ellery Amrit scored the only goal for the Vikings in the loss, while Alex Jackson had two saves in goal. Okay, that's all the sports we have reported to us. Let's go outside the BTV studios to Josie Backus, who has a reminder for all of you who want free prom tickets. For all interested in the prom challenge occurring this Friday, there's important information you need to know. To be eligible for the free prom tickets, you must come into the VVC with this permission slip on Friday. It can be found on the Viking Television website. Or just pick up a permission slip right here, right outside the VVC classroom. So all challengers, we'll see you this Friday. Be sure you're ready for the test. One of the greatest gym teachers we have, Mr. Olson, give us a scoop on his story. Here's the background of how I got into swimming and water polo. When I was a young man, 
I had aspirations to be in the NBA. I was a big time basketball player. Uh, when I got to high school, it was the fall time of 2000, I was walking a girl that was a friend down to the pool area for practice. And after I dropped her off at practice, I was walking back through the pool area and there was a boys swim team meeting going on. So I freaked out and I sat down and I got all the information for joining swimming. Fast forward a couple weeks later, basketball practice was starting and so was swim, swim practice. And I decided to stop playing basketball and I decided to join swimming. Uh, from there, swim season ended and went right into water polo. Uh, fast forward a couple more years after that and I was playing water polo in college. So that's my little story about how I got into swimming, water polo, and now I coach it. Think about your turns, baby. I got three of them on a 135. The HF Varsity Badminton team has not had a lot of success in their past years. Last year, their record ended at 11 and 12, with just one doubles team making it to state. However, this year is different for the team. They are halfway through their season and their record is 18-0 so far for conference matches. They placed first and second at their last two invites and are hoping to keep this trend going for the next few weeks. Head coach Rachel Fassel explains why she thinks the team is doing so well thus far. Uh, I feel like we're having a lot of success this season because of the 12 players on varsity. Each one of them offers a lot of different skills and talent, not only as a badminton player, but as an individual. So I think it's just a team effort when we're just strong top to bottom. Along with their fantastic performance, the team also has a great chemistry this season. There are only 12 players on the team this year, which is smaller than normal, allowing closer relationships to be formed. One of the captains, Serena Webster, explains the bond that the team members have created with each other. Having only 12 girls on the team allows each other to um, collaborate more, understand each other's personalities, likes and dislikes, and just have fun um, more as a family rather than like an actual team. Since the team is doing so well, the coaches have a lot of expectations for what is to come for the rest of the season. The team's biggest success was a win against rival Lincoln Way East, and they have more tough matches coming up against TF South, Sandberg, and more. However, Coach Fassel tells us that she is confident in her team skills going into these matches and beyond, all the way to state. So our team's success this year, right now we're 17-0 and and four ties. And for us to go undefeated or close to undefeated um, would mean a lot, but even more seeing the, the, the girls uh, win conference is I think our ultimate goal of this year and hopefully be able to host sectionals and win sectionals. Uh, if we can get six players down to state, I think that would really show how far our program has come and just holistically how strong we are from top to bottom. The team has their senior night today after school at 4.30 in the Fieldhouse versus Stag. Come out and support to see if they can keep their undefeated record alive. For VTV, I'm May Van Etten. All right, hey chef, that looks like all the time we have for today. My name is Jay Bell. I'm Nick Gary. So I'm all here at VTV. Have a nice day. Send me your location that's right, the vibrations. I don't need nothing else but you. But you.